Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another session of Teens in 20. So glad you could join us today. Today's session, New Planner. Um, we did do a session on Planner before. It was really new. And now I'm just going to give you a bit more of a let's go back. Let's find out what the latest is. Let's remind ourselves of some of the features um, now that people have, have, have probably got it. Um, so we're going to talk about what is it, what the features are. Product Group have actually created a video um, and showed it with me that I'm going to show with you. Uh, we're going to talk timelines and costs, and I'm going to po uh, point to some awesome resources. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, what's going on in the world of collaborative work management. Um, you know, for teams large and small, you know, you probably have teams and departments across your organisation that just want to think in a collaborative work management way, but the organisation itself wants to have more governance, uh, more visibility, and the ability to get insights from all the work that's being done. Um, and this has really changed the way we work and the approach that we've taken to work. Because what we find out at a high level is that this can lead to having lots of really confusing mixes of apps and tools out there. And it's actually making it harder to get work done. Uh, so employees and house stuck managing work instead of actually doing the work in. So we published this study last year, this work lab survey uh, last January, and it revealed that 59% of employees feel that the tools they use to collaborate do not align to how their teams prefer to work. Uh, the tools don't integrate with their day-to-day -day processes and it makes them difficult to collaborate across teams. And according to 64% of colleagues, they just wish their tools um, that they use to collaborate were just more compatible with each other instead of being highly fragmented. And, you know, I always say this as well, tracking your tasks shouldn't be a task. Uh, so if we want to help solve these challenges, we can just help be build better tech that just brings lots of people together to feel more accomplished and feel less frustrated with their work. Though, as I said, we've created a ton of apps. Uh, Microsoft's actually been in the work management industry since 1985 when we launched uh, Microsoft Project. It is that long ago. Um, that was our flagship product. And we've since gone on and created a ton more apps. Now, we've done previous sessions where we've touched on the old Microsoft Planner, which was really a simple way of, of, of managing a very small project. Uh, but we hear from customers that that's just too basic. We need to have more features, the ones that you would normally find in that project management tool, such as Project for the Web. Customers also have the challenge that there's just multiple apps that do the same type of work. And switching between all those apps has resulted in less productivity and maybe missed opportunities. So some of these tools also use a separate license that gets even more confusing. And yeah. You, we're kind of doubling up on the amount of tools we've got. And then if that wasn't complicated enough, we went and bought an acquisition from Ali.io, which is uh, a goals uh, tool. It just helps companies align their team's goals to their company's mission. And we created now Viva Goals. And then we added Gen AI to make it even more intelligent with Copilot. So it just makes sense to bring all of these different applications and features together and just make this more scalable. So you don't need five apps to do the same thing. And then, you know, with Gen AI, we've actually, you know, this gives us even more opportunities. So a new planner unites things like tasks, plans, and projects across M365 into one familiar place. We've tried to make it as simple as we can. So it just helps you manage that workflow. We try to make it as flexible as you can. Uh, so you can do what you want to do in that, but it doesn't have to be so confusing um, and it's scalable so you might start off small and then realize you need more features later on in your plan well that's great because they're in there you don't need to just leave that and go and use another app and then finally intelligent you know we've with copilot and ai we should have tools that are helping us improve our plans helping us uh, identify risks and just build out better planning so I'm going to take you through just some of those sections in more detail. So when we think about that simplicity, what do we mean? Well, it's got a great simple uh, navigation set. It's got three main views. You've got my day, my tasks, my plans. And you can manage your tasks, to-do lists, 
and projects that are across M365 apps all in that one place. So if you're a person like me as well that likes to procrastinate and really does need help with that focusing and um, prioritizing my workload, I need something that helps me with my daily tasks. So I use to do, but actually I could use my day now in planner and it's going to help me focus on what i need so you can see here i've got the the my day view which if you used to do you're going to you're going to be familiar with this um helps me stay focused on my tasks i can add tasks um from other lists as well i click in the more options there under the three dots um and i can just add those other tasks to my day it's really flexible as i said um you know work the way you want to work use templates that work for you. So for a template site, the box, you can start a new plan. Um, you can choose multiple views. So, you know, keeping it simple, grid view charts. But then if you want more complex, you start using like timelines, goals, people. Uh, you collaborate and co-create together with your team. And then if you're a project user, you get those features that you know and love and you start being able to use things like sprint planning, custom fields, task history. Uh, so you see, we've got a, an animated screen here that shows uh, an available template there. You can quickly start a new plan, but this view is showing you um, a board that you've got charts and planners and people as well available to you. And then scalable. I think this is one of the, the key things uh, a lot of customers wanted. You can define your plan goals uh, at the project team and organizational level. And then you can start building activities against those goals. So you can see in this example, 85% of new hire attendance for on orientation day. That's my goal. These are all the activities that are going to help me achieve that goal. So you can practically manage and allocate resources. You, know, you get real-time dashboards, um, different visualizations. And if you want to go even a step further, you can actually bring automation in this and start thinking about using low-code, no-code platforms like Power Platform. So the example I might use it, I might start off with a, a simple list of tasks um, and manage them in the Kanban board. And then I go, OK, well, now I need people to help me. So I bring in a group of people. We collaborate on those tasks. I assign those tasks. But then as I realize this is, this is a bigger project than I thought, I might need things like hierarchy, dependencies, dynamic scheduling, um, and those capabilities that we see in Project for the Web. So I, I can incorporate them. I can move to that next step without having to go and start another project in Project for the Web. Uh, so, I, you know, the, 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 the tool is scalable and flexible for my needs. And then we think about that intelligence bit. So uh, New Plan is intelligent. It's got the co-pilot features. I can ask co-pilots and things like, just help me with building out a plan that will help me reach these goals. Help me create tasks. Help me bucket those tasks against roles within um, my team. Um, help me stay informed. Like, what are the most things, what are the things I should be prioritizing? Uh, what, where are my overloaded team members? What's my big risks? Uh, maybe it can even help me think about how to mitigate those risks. Now, I've got a... Uh, four minute video here that the um, team put together. This explains it in a lot more detail than I would. The new planner app in Microsoft Teams allows you to see all of your work across Microsoft 365 in a single location. Keeping intelligence at its core, planner also includes the power of AI with new co-pilot features to help you get started and stay on top of all of your work. In planner, you have the freedom to create different types of plans based on the complexity of your projects. Start with a basic plan for your simple projects using the planner experience included in Microsoft 365, or create a premium plan for enhanced project management capabilities like task dependencies, goal setting, and additional customizations. Get started using one of the templates like project budget, sprint retrospective, or goals and objectives, or Start with a blank plan to create any plan that you need. For now, let's start with a basic plan just for yourself. Here, you can plan out your own work, like a career plan or a personal to-do list, or start drafting work for an upcoming team project, like a marketing campaign. All of the tasks are visible in the different views. Grid view to see tasks in a simple list, board view to see tasks grouped by different fields, Schedule view to see when each task will be worked on, 
or charts view to get a quick understanding of your plan's progress. When you need to share with others, you can easily do so by adding team members to the plan, or if you have an existing group, simply add that group. Once the plan is shared, it's simple to assign work to the correct people so everyone can quickly get started on their tasks. The Planner app in Microsoft Teams is designed to grow with you. So if you discover that you need additional functionality beyond what's offered in a basic plan, it's easy to try out premium features. In just a few clicks, you can get started using a premium template and get access to all premium capabilities. With premium plans, you also have access to the power of AI with Copilot, which can help you save time by creating relevant tasks quickly. Simply tell Copilot what you would like to accomplish, and it will add a set of tasks to your plan. Premium plans also give you access to a range of advanced project management capabilities, like goal setting, so everyone knows what you are working towards and how their work will have impact. You can also set dependencies between your tasks and see the full timeline for your project in a Gantt chart format, which includes the critical path for your plan. Organize your tasks into sprints to manage work in an agile way. Easily load balance work across your team using people view. And customize your plan by adding custom fields to tasks, conditional coloring on the grid view, and even set custom working calendars so tasks are only scheduled on the days you work. You can easily find any of your plans in the My Plans page, where all of your plans will be organized for easy access. For even quicker discovery, pin your favorite plans so you can open them from anywhere within the app. You can also quickly see all the work that is assigned to you by heading to the My Tasks page, where there is a list of tasks you are responsible for, no matter where they were assigned to you in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Finally, Use the My Day view to stay focused on what you need to accomplish today. Here, you will see any tasks that are due the same day, along with any tasks that you choose to add, so you remember to stay focused on them. And for frontline organizations, Planner offers task publishing to centrally define tasks, quickly distribute work at scale, and monitor results across your organization. To learn more about how Planner can help serve frontline organizations, visit aka.ms slash task publishing in planner. All right. So where are we with new planner? Well, uh, replace tasks by planner and uh, to do, which was a crazy name, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> big, long name there. Uh, later in 2024, the web experience for new planner is going to be generally available. <clears throat> and the features that you know and love in Project the Web will be in both New Planner in Teams and uh, the Planner Web app. Okay, so we're going to have a little look now in uh, Copilot in Planner um, because there's lots of great stuff there. So a uh, bit of a roll out for Copilot in Planner. Um, at the end of April, Copilot in Planner Preview started to roll out to users on Project Plan 3 and Project Plan 5 licenses. I'm going to talk about licensing in a minute. Uh, and later this year, Copilot and Planner will be generally available in the Planner web experience. Um, now, we know that any planning can be time consuming. And, and this is where really Copilot comes into play because it can absolutely revolutionize your project management. Um, just reducing out some of the time and helping you. It's like you've got your own personal assistant that you can brainstorm ideas with without feeling a little bit daft, All right? So uh, that is what I use it for. And um, so the initial release of Copilot Planner is going to enable scenarios like creating and updating plans. It's going to help you uh, create and update like, plans easily um, and look at what your team are working on. You uh, ask questions and obviously get answers about your plan. It's going to help you generate status emails for your team, help you find context. Sometimes in these project plans that um, I look at, especially techie ones, there's loads of stuff in there. Some of the stuff I might not understand. So I can ask Copilot, just break that down for me. What does that really mean? I've got some little demo slides here to show you. Just how quickly you can actually spin up a plan in, um, using Copilot. I can ask it to uh, quickly assign tasks to these roles for this plan um, in this, this example here. And I'm just using natural language here as if I'm talking to my assistant. So in this demo, I can quickly set goals. So, okay, I need to do, uh, what's this one, waterproof laptop development. 
Okay, so this is my project. What are my goals? Suggest some goals for me. I might not like all of them, but some of them might be really great. And then in this demo, demo, you can just see how you can ask Copilot to provide that status plan. So I want a plan, uh, you know, give me status with uh, headings and progress and highlights and risks. Even maybe help me mitigate some of those risks. What would you suggest? So it is like having that that personal assistant to help you. Some timelines. Uh, so we've got some licensing information here. Planet is part of M365 which means that eligible customers who've got E3 and E5 licenses will have it at no additional cost. However, accessing some of the premium capabilities that you probably would have seen in Project for the Web, your co-pilot stuff, is probably going to, uh, well, it is required in one of three subscription plans. So you've got Planner Plan 1, formerly Project Plan 1, Project Plan 3, and Project Plan 5. I've detailed this out here. So the project team um, have actually given us a load of great information that's going to help clear this up. Uh, each of these subscription plans is tailored to a different user need. And that's why there's three of them, because not everybody needs every feature. So you know, you've know, you got your project plan one, ideal for managers and informal project managers. Um, it includes everything that you get in Planet M365 plus timeline, people, and goals view and the ability to create new Planner Power BI reports and customize uh, Planner Power App. Um, project three is more professional project managers. Uh, project five is ideal for program and portfolio managers. But all the information, and the project team have done an amazing job of just bringing everything together for you. You can find all the announcements, roadmap, events, trials, demo videos, how you plan for adoption, everything you need, they've put together um in this great slide and that is it for me today um just thanks everybody for joining and i hope you have a lovely rest of your day thanks everybody